Longtime actor Lou Gossett Jr. died today, leaving a trail of memories behind. His cousin confirming the actor's death with the Associated Press. Gossett was the first African-American man to win an Oscar for supporting actor. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster spoke with the Beck Cultural Exchange Center today about the legacy Gossett left behind and the important role he played in black history. Louis Gossett Jr., known for his roles in Roots as a fiddler and the drill sergeant in An Officer and a Gentleman, has died. Growing up in the Jim Crow era of the country, Gossett had to overcome challenges to get where he was as an actor. Amid all of the challenges and the obstacles, he will go on to become one of the greatest actors we've ever known. We'll still be talking about him for generations to come. So in terms of history, he means so very much because indeed extraordinary actors and actresses have passed this way that have really excelled to the highest levels in their career. And no doubt we'll remember Lewis Gossett Jr. when we tell that story. Gossett was in East Tennessee in 1991 where he visited the Museum of Appalachia. A statement from the museum says, quote, he was warm, friendly, and he laughed a lot. He seemed to really enjoy touring the museum as he brought his own camera and took lots of pictures. Museum President Elaine Irwin Myers said, after the tour, we all had dinner at my mother and father's house and had a grand old time. I look back on this day fondly. Gossett was in town for the unveiling of a statue of Alex Haley as well. Those who were there said the wisdom he shared was unforgettable. He was here for that unveiling, and we will never forget that. We'll always remember that special day uh, and the words that he talked about and he said during that time. Not only was Gossett an influence on those around the country, but he impacted filmmakers and actors right here in East Tennessee. He said, remember, he was also here in 2012 here in Knoxville. I think the Knoxville Area Urban League had a great program, and he was actually, as I recall, given an award to a local actor, Silk Cozart. So I, I know his influence is definitely on the local, no matter <laughs> how big he is worldwide. Louis Gossett Jr. also started a foundation called the Eracism Foundation, where they worked to see a world where racism didn't exist. The foundation goes to show who Gossett was. But for someone who has lived the periods that he has lived, and then still today talking about we need to keep doing something to eradicate racism. That's a testament to who he was. That's a testament to who he is. And that's a testament to who we have to become. In Knoxville, Dominic Webster, WAT6, on your side. Lou Gossett was 87. Right now, no cause of death has been released.